So here we are at Dimpledale Park, a local horse, mountain biking, hiking park here in Draper, Utah. And I've got Keen packed up for the first time to take him out on uh, some trails. I got a horse blanket in each side, uh, just a riding sack saddle. I took off the rear cinch because that interfered with the cinch that comes down from the pack. You can see it there that holds it uh, from flopping up. Now I've done a little extra. This strap here actually would go across the top pack, but I've taken it just to hold it in a little bit for him uh, as we test this out. So uh, excited to be here this morning and uh, take you along on this journey. Well, so far these packs are riding just fine. I just tested the saddle and uh, it's good tight on him. Of course, there's not much weight and I don't want to put much weight in yet. I'll do that uh, the next time if everything goes well today because I want to ride through the brush so that the brush is scraping along the side of the pannier there and making that sound and providing some resistance that Keen can feel and get used to. Hollow's doing really well. This is half brother, half sister. So Hollow's 20 year old Arabian there. Keen is a 21 year old Arabian gelding. They're out of the same mom, different stallions. And uh, they've always been together. So they do make a really good pair together. And we're having a great day, a beautiful day here in Drake. So here's a view from the front of the packs, and you can see there's plenty of clearance underneath his saddle. He's worn that for a lot of years. My wife has a new one, but we're using this as basically your pack saddle. We're going to hang the panties on. But if you look closely there, and I'll do a close up, you can see where the part that goes over the pommel, if it had been a bit bigger, and the piece that goes on the seat had been a bit longer, that would have sat flat. Now I called the company and the fellow that answered and said that the owner and designer didn't have a problem with it being like that. It fits a 15 inch seat really well, but a 16 inch seat, not so good. And that's one of the things I would have liked to have seen different to take some of the stress off those zone parts. But if they have confidence in it, I'm willing to take it out and go with what they said. Seems to be doing real good. Went through some brush there that was saddle height and it brushed against one side or the other or both. And that just didn't seem to bother him at all. Bothered Hala a little bit, the sound. She wasn't sure what that was, but she settled right down. So they're both doing awesome. Really happy with the results. I'm gonna head back. We've been out for about 25 minutes or so, and I'm gonna head back. We went across the bridge, which was awesome. Just no problem whatsoever. Met some people on the trail. They passed with no problems as well. So, really happy with what's going on. So, here we are. We're back at the trailer. We did about three quarters of a mile in about one hour, 15 minutes. We crossed a bridge, we went through brush, we went through the stream down there, and we went through tall grass and they just both did awesome. Keen's a little sleepy or just relaxed. He's a pretty mellow horse. Olive's a great horse, she's very sensitive, so works well off leg cues and 
stuff like that. The water was higher than I've ever seen it. We've been riding in here for the last couple of weeks and it's been pretty high. And yet today was the highest and the widest. It was uh, really great to be in the water. So here's what I'm talking about in terms of this pack doesn't sit all the way down. I would have liked to have seen uh, this pack sitting more flush. Let's see I can put my hand down here. It's pretty easy. You can probably see it on that side more right there. So I think that puts stress points. And if they made it just a bit bigger, this strap goes underneath the pommel, lifts it off so that you get your airflow in there. And then I wrapped it around the horn so that it would stay in place and wouldn't shift side to side. But you've got this stress point here where if it had sat down over the pommel correctly, in my opinion anyway, then this whole reinforcement where the three buckles on are on would sit flat against the skirting. And even though I called out to supply, the guy said he talked to the owner and the designer, and they didn't have a problem with it, um, I don't see how that's not a bit of a concern right here. You've got that big gaping hole. That also means that the stress point here is prone, possibly, to wear. I'm not saying that it is, because they've been making these packs for a long time. So I, I don't want to be critical until I know. And the way it's reinforced, the quality of the materials, yeah, you just can't beat it. It is A1, it is first rate, top shelf. So we'll just keep testing it out. This was about only about, I don't know, eight pounds per side, because I had a water bottle uh, on this side and on that side I had my first aid kit, uh, two, two little small ones that I like to carry just on a day ride. So I do like this strap going underneath and holding this up so that you can get as much airflow in there as possible. So, anyway, that's it for the ride today. Uh, if you like the video, would you hit the like button down there? That would help me a lot. I uh, appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, of course, that's always appreciated as well. And if you click on the bell, it will notify you when I put up a new video. That would be great as well help keep you in the loop of when I put up a new video. So if you find these um, videos useful, there's going to be all kinds of different things that fit the topics. Obviously we do a lot of different things and this is a main one right now, but thanks for being on that journey today and I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day.